Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Episode 1179. Hello, it's Mike Matthews broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mont. Today, we hear from Bonita, the disgruntled fiddle player, the brewmaster. Plus, we bring you the fascinating news segment called News Random. And I got better because yesterday I was not feeling Mike's Daily Podcast. So good. I was very, very tired. And I was very Mike's Daily Podcast. But hey, today I am doing much better. Did you know that we have much cooler weather in the Bay Area where I went to Costco and I bought a lot of stuff. Some of it I even needed, so I'm happy. Something else I noticed about Costco. Mike's Daily Podcast. And that is... You guys out there, wake up. Mike's because daily. There are lots of beautiful women Podcast. at Costco. Beautiful women yeah. shop at Costco. Beautiful women work at Costco. It's a bevy. It's a bevy of beauty. So please, this is what I, I didn't even want to leave Costco yesterday. I was having just so many interesting. Well, hello, and I would you know talk to someone and. Oh, that's a great price for that. And you get a $2 rebate. How nice is that? Is it nice? Okay, let's quickly jump over to the the right-wing topics for today. Terrace, the Terrace's own father reported him in 2015. The father of the man suspected in multiple bombings throughout New York and New Jersey this weekend says he reported his son to the FBI as a potential terrorist. <gasps> and they didn't do anything about it. They allowed it. It's because of Obama. Here's another right-wing thing. Uh, Clinton Foundation watered down drugs needed by the poor. <sighs> Hillary still has a slight electoral college advantage. That's because the electoral college is corrupt. And it's full of Democrats. And if Hillary wins, it's because it's a conspiracy. Hillary cancels North Carolina event. A fundraiser. Now you know there's something wrong, it says. I could click on that Breitbart article, but no. And then I don't know why this is... Monday Night Football hits ratings low. For week two, the story... Neglects to mention fans are turned off by the anti-American displays. Oh, that's why Monday Night Football has hit a rating low. Because people are anti-American. Nobody wants to watch that. And a a group demands In-N-Out provide vegan alternative. What? The cheeseburger option isn't good enough? And that's your right wing. Look who just walked in. Speaking of which. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How y'all doing? I'm more to the left. And I'm the disgruntled fiddle player. Tell you what. What? Well, yeah, they shouldn't have vegan food. I mean, no. I mean, it's delicious, tasty cow meat that you're supposed to be eating there. Like this cow. That cow just ran right through the wall because it saw you. And was afraid. Look who else walked in while you were talking and trying to make a point. Hi, Mike. I make the root beer. I'm the brewmaster. Oh, boy. I'm so glad that you're back. Ah. Yes, I am back. That is scary. Oh, thanks for the root beer. Very nice. So, I, I was feeling icky and just ew. And just, yeah, yesterday. But then uh, I I took a long nap, and then I took a walk with my dog, and I saw there's a lot of bats in Podcaster Valley. But no, bats are beautiful, and they fly around, and they're they're winged. They're winged, and they fly. I love that. Hey, if you watch Willy Wonka and remember the late, great, wonderful Gene Wilder, you're going to... 
also see an amazing late great actor in that movie. I had no idea who this guy was. He's very Eric Idle, if you're into Monty Python and whatnot. His name is David Batley. He was born with a hole in his heart, and sadly he died of a heart attack in the early O's, or aughts, as people are saying now, the early aughts. I hate saying aughts because it makes me feel like I'm a 90-year-old man. Actually, I hope to someday be a 90-year-old man, so maybe I should get used to it. But David Batley had kind of this Eric Idle style to him, but he's the one in the Willy Wonka in the classroom that says to Charlie, do you know what that is? And Charlie's like, no. And he's like, of course you don't, because you're the student and I'm the teacher, and if you knew what it was, you'd be very rude. He, he was great. Uh, so I looked him up, David Batley. He did a lot of uh, what was called the Rut- Rutland Weekend Report, or News Report. And he was also part of the Ruttles. It was sort of this Monty Python spinoff that Eric Idle tried to do after Monty Python. You can watch a lot of the episodes on YouTube. Check him out. He's funny. And that's my completely useless review. Mike's absolutely useless review. By the way, this just in. We live in a bacterial soup that's very anti-American and won't watch Monday Night Football. No, but... I was listening to a podcast, it's called To The Point, and they were discussing how antibiotics aren't working so much anymore because we take them for everything now, and that means that bacteria has gotten a resistance to all the stuff we're trying to use against it, so now antibiotics are not working. Later that day. Oh my gosh, my computer here at Cafe Anyway just flipped out recording the Mike's Daily Podcast, oh my. Hey, so here's the thing to, and I I, I blame it on USA Today because I have a USA Today article on my computer and I think it's messing up the recording apparatus. But so when you're talking to your doctor, see if antibiotics is not the, if there's some way around antibiotics, because the more we use, the more they develop resistance and the more they won't work. And we will be really in trouble if we don't have antibiotics that overall don't work is what I learned from that podcast that had many doctors of all sorts saying exactly the same thing. Basically everyone in agreement about it. Finally, I used to live in Southern California. I was in Magic Mountain area and I used to go to Magic Mountain quite a bit in a town called uh, Valencia. Not to be confused with Vallejo that has a very strange smell that's making people sick this morning for some reason. But Valencia and Magic Mountain, which almost closed in the early aughts. Anyway, uh, that was uh, so many memories at Magic Mountain, anyway. Anyway. And I just was thinking about it, just how much time I spent there. You can see parts of Magic Mountain, by the way, if you see the, what was it, National Lampoon's uh, Summer Vacation. Is that the one? The vacation one, the first one they did with Chevy Chase and, and a very young... Anthony Michael Hall and they travel across the country that's that amusement park they end up at it was actually shot at Magic Mountain way back when that movie was made and uh, they still have Colossus there and stuff but I was thinking about it the other day and you know going there as a teenager and being there you know meeting beautiful girls that would later work at Costco it's awesome hey let's get to the segment oh first though go to mikesdailypodcast.com and check out the podcast picture speaking of which and here's today's podcast picture you may have heard some singing on the show today if that's what you want to call it i used to sing a lot i had i have a lot of songs actually and i used to sing them all at this uh, open well it was a mic opening up so i guess it was an open mic and he would sing mike matthews would and i would actually that's back when i was called matt michaels i'd call it matt music and i used to sing at this place called full of beans and actually that's where i met my ex-wife but that is a picture of it and you can see a picture of of the full of beans in that little patio i used to play there all the time so i thought it'd be a nice little reminiscing get a little piece of mike matthews there in my history there a lot of people went and saw me perform there i used to play there like every sunday night would be my thing I need to. I wish I could do that somewhere here in the Bay Area, but I just I don't know. There's too many singer songwriters. I don't think there'd be any place for me. 
Who knows? But I do know Mike'sDailyPodcast.com is a great place, the website to go to see the podcast pictures from the past and past interviews I've done with interesting folks. I was interviewing this band. I did not realize the lead singer actually was the daughter of a famous actor. That was an interesting revelation I found out. It revealed itself to me, and I was revolted. No, I was happy about it. But, yeah, all the past interviews and stuff, and and you can also help out the show through the Amazon link. Click on that and buy whatever it is you were going to buy, and that helps us out tremendously. And there's also a PayPal if you'd like to donate. You'll get a special greeting from all the Cafe Anyway characters. All that is at mikesdailypodcast.com. But now, news random. News random. It's pretty interesting. Okay, this is that USA Today article. So, cruise ships, the the business is going down, so to speak. I guess that was some sort of Titanic reference, but maybe not. Here, near, far, wherever you are, cruise ships exist. And they are having issues because of the whole terrorism thing going on right now. The business is not as good as it used to be so now they're trying different things like bringing a very famous tv show to cruise ships lip sync battle which if uh, you may not have the moves of anne hathaway who looked fantastic in her rendition of wrecking ball or dwayne the rock johnson but fans of spike tv's emmy nominated lip sync battle soon are going to be able to show off their creative skills in a seagoing version of the hit show on carnival cruise ships Developed with Spike TV Lip Sync Battle Carnival involves passengers facing off in a head-to-head faux singing competition. This will bring people back to cruise ships. Preliminary rounds take place on the pool deck at the beginning of each cruise. Two finalists are then chosen to compete in the ship's theater in a full-scale production complete with costume sets, high-tech lighting, choreography, and even professional backup dancers. Wow. The popular TV show's hosts, LL Cool J and Chrissy Teigen, appear in a special video show, a video that is shown on board. The cruise audience will choose the contest winner. Isn't Chrissy um, married to John Legend or something? Or has a, had a kid with him? I forget. Lip Sync Battle has a footprint in over 150 countries worldwide, says Viacom Media Networks. So now it's time to hit the oceans as well, they say. This should debut next year. All right. Well, the show was nominated for an Emmy this year for Outstanding Structured Reality Program category. However, that was won by Shark Tank. And now we go outside a cafe anyway. We're bringing you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. An interesting early childhood memory was I was on a cruise ship. That's the only time I've been on one. Went with my grandmother and my dad. And... On the cruise ship, the band was playing Kenny Rogers' song, Lucille. You picked the fine time to leave me, Lucille. And invited people on stage to sing the song. And I actually got up there with, I think, some guys that worked in the kitchen got up and sang, too. It was funny. And I did that twice, actually. My dad always brought that up. Remember the time? I I knew you were going to be in radio or something. Or performing because you got up there on stage and you weren't nervous and stuff. Well, I was nervous, and but the power of Kenny Rogers compelled me. And I hope you have a great uh, middle of the week day or whatever day you're listening to this and enjoy it. Enjoy the Costco women. Enjoy looking back on David Batley's career. And enjoy bats in general. They're awesome. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.